literally put our rods in not done the intro neil reckons he's into something already we're literally within seconds of uh, casting in two gunners he's got <laughs> well there's your species for you there are you happy you came here now that's good that's you're good there then well done ah. neil's using a one up one down flapper Casting about 30 yards out of there. I've bl blasted mine out. 50. <laughs> yeah, right. Well done, Neil. Well, it's, uh, I thought, is it the 5th, 2nd, 3rd, 4th? Yeah, 5th of September today. It's Thursday morning. Well, I think it's about 12 o'clock now. Um, we've come to Ferry Bridge. The weather's horrendous. It's been peeing down all morning. Uh, it's only getting worse. The wind's coming round and swinging round viciously to the southwest, I believe. So we've come to Ferry Bridge because it's close and gives us a chance to catch a different species to what we've been catching, like bream and the outside chance of dream fish or the trigger fish. Um, so we're just going to fish it. It'll only be a short session. We won't be fishing into the dark because at around six, seven o'clock, I think the weather turns really, really ugly, worse than it is at the moment. It's peeing down. Um, so, uh, yeah, so we're about the same place we fished when we came on Monday but the way because the wind at the moment is currently from the north it's flat calm I'll give you a, a view around a bit and we're going to share with Neil with his uh, I said first cast within seconds two nice tub gurnard the new species no the tub look at the fins yeah they've got blue, blue on them tub oh, yeah. gurnard yeah. positive I believe it red, red gurnards are all red and they're a vivid red as well um, so I'll give you a panoramic, yeah, so I said Neil there, uh, cast it and literally just dumped it in. So species plan would be, I said three fish when we came here would have been an undulate and a trigger fish. So we've come here on the outside chance we can catch those and maybe bring just different from pouting and whiting and strap congas we've been catching and it's closer to the caravan where we're staying so yeah it'll be finish we'll finish around six seven five six seven around that time we've already got a small amount of bait it's just rag some frozen black squid and that's it um yeah but it's miserable i'll give you a panoramic of uh, where we are there's portland over there behind neil there's one angler to our left there's the bank down towards Amsterdam that way, there's two anglers that way. But as you can see, the sea's lovely and calm. It's, I think, low tide's at two o'clock, coming up to high tide about nine o'clock tonight. So uh, I think we're fishing it down and then uh, fish a bit of it up, depending on the weather and the bait situation. We've got two packs of rag, two wraps of black, and a pack of squid. As you can probably hear, it's, it's absolutely peeing down. So I'm using my Vega Potenza Hardcore with a Shimano fixed ball. And I've got this Sentry Tipsonator Super Match again with a fixed ball, Shimano fixed ball, just being lazy, just easy fishing today. I couldn't be bothered with a, a multiplier. Neil's using my Surf Blaster, Pen Surf Blaster 2 with a Super Match. He's got a one up, one down flapper. White Rod's got a three hook new brig size twos and the um, Century Rod has got a three hook flapper. Well the baits are coming back in stripped um, but uh, managed to land one, a small bream. <laughs> So please, but that, I literally only put, that was on the Continental Rod. I'd literally only put the rod in five minutes ago, getting taps, i come back, all the bait stripped, so there must be a lot of small um, bream about just stripping bait. But hey-ho, not a blank. Well, Neil has uh, just brought in a spider cop, it hasn't made it to the beach. He's you see it making its way back down to the water. The 
ten past three. So we've not had anything since I had that dream and Neil had those two gurned. So just then Neil spotted a slack line on my century rod whilst I was just uh, baiting up. And probably the best bream we've had uh, this week. I'll show you that one. Yeah. There we go. Whoa. Stay still, mister. Yeah, so, uh, very happy with that. Uh, we'll get this fella back and see if we can get Neil a bream now. Whilst I was baiting up the uh, rod, or trying to bait up the rig from the rod, I've just brought him with the, the bream. Neil again spotted a bite and a smaller bream. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, three bream for the day. So, uh, we're just trying to get Neil one now, which will make it as well. Um, yeah, that's a right proper lousy day. Uh, the wind's starting to pick up. It's, the, the rain's died off a bit, but it's still pouring down um but we've, we've had some heavier showers so uh yeah we'll, i said we're going to use it until we run out of bait or or the wind gets too much for us or the rain gets too much for us well it's uh 20 to 5 just had a, a, another bite of the continental rods doing really well uh and another small bream aye 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 very lively one, see if I can get it to uh, show you there better. <laughs> You'll crack if I on there and bite on the continental rod. So uh, what we're going to do is to try and get Neil one before we go because we're not going to last much longer because there's nobody else left on the beach but us now. It's, we can't even see Portland. There's just a mist all around us so um get this fish back we'll get the baiting rod baited up for, for neil on the continent all whacked out and see if we can't get him one before we go to finish the trip well it's uh five o'clock now and that's it we're starting to bring in the rod except for the white continental one that that's just gone out give that what 15 minutes give it 15 minutes and that'll be it. So if Neil catches on that, I'll come back to you and show his catch. Uh, if not, that's it. Um, yeah, it's been a thoroughly enjoyable four days of fishing. Today's been a bit of a letdown due to the weather. Um, but we've caught a load of bream, gurnard. Neil got his gurnard. Just needed for his bream, really. Um, yeah, I, I like fishing Ferry Bridge. It is a trek to get here. Cogden was really enjoyable, really enjoyed Cogden and, and West Bexington, though two places I hadn't been before, Donnyfish, Ferry Bridge and Abbotsbury. Um, yeah, char car park charges are astronomical. Uh, it's cost us £15 of fish here for today because it's up to 10 hours. It goes, I think, one hour, two hour, four hour, ten. Um, and so forth uh, that, it's expensive same for West Bexington except for after 6 p.m. I think it is 6 to late a.m. I think something like that where it's free and Cobden was six pound ten I think for all day fishing that that was quite good uh, and I know that Abbott's please off the top of my head from last year was eight eight pound for 24 hours um, yeah I definitely uh, enjoy fishing chisel. It's nice being able to get all this stuff out, get a shelter up, and just sit down and, and fish rather than um, where well, I fish, you're generally fishing tide, so you might be able to do two either side of a tide or three or four down, one up, so forth, but you're always on the move. Uh, it, it, it's comfortable fishing, um, but it's treks to get to the marks on chisel if you want to get away from people or the better marks. Uh, that I'm aware of, I'm no expert by any means, I've only fished there a couple of times. Um, so, yeah, 
So, thanks for watching, and from a wet kneeling, Gareth, bye-bye.